Latin square designs and ANOVA. So just briefly going over one-factor and two-factor ANOVA tests and their assumptions. So this is for one-factor and for two-factors. And there should be no interaction between the two factors. With one factor, the existence of other factors is masked, so you don't get a good test. By using more factors, in the ANOVA table, the sum of squares total value will stay the same whether you're using one factor or two or three factors, that value stays the same. When you use more factors, the error or residual gets smaller and as a result, the F ratio gets bigger. So if there is a difference of some sort, if it exists, it becomes easier to spot. So using more factors will give you a better test. as some of the experimental error is reduced even further. The more experimental error that you can get rid of, the better your hypothesis test. So testing for three factors using a Latin square design. In this example we have three factors. Fertilizers, varieties, and soil types. So highlighted in green are the fertilizers. There are four levels. And then for varieties there are four levels. And the same again for soil types. There are four levels. Hence a 4x4 four four Latin square design. So doing the calculations for each factor and then this is from the formula book we're going to calculate this for each factor so t squared over n because there are four values or four levels in each factor we're going to have four calculations here which represents this part minus t squared over n minus 291 squared over 16 which was this minus t squared over n. So we have these three values. Which go into the ANOVA table. We have three factors. Then the error or residual. So these three came from the previous page and the total and by subtracting these three from the total we get the error or the residual and then these test statistic values so to get 3.94 we're dividing these two to get 19.6 we're dividing these two to get 0 0.53 we're dividing these two the critical value will be the same for each of these factors. So for fertilizers, it will be F36. For varieties, it's F36. For soil types, F36. So we have the same critical value for each of these factors. So when considering fertilizers we can write H0 and H1 like this because our fertilizers were numbered 1, 2, 3, 4 or we can word it like this. Our critical value so this is the CV and our test statistic so 
3.94 is less than 4.757, we're going to accept H0. Conclusion in context. Testing for the effect of variety, so our second factor. So we can state H0 and H1 like this, or using words. Same critical value. The test statistic this time is greater than the critical value. So we're going to reject H0. We found evidence for H1. Conclusion in context. And our third factor, soil type. So H0 in terms of A, B, C and D. They were the labels given to each of the four soil types. Or we can use wording instead for H0 and H1. Our critical value, same as before. Our test value, 0 0.53. This is less than the critical value, so we're going to accept H0. We accept H0. Conclusion in context.